Well, hey there, my corn dogs. How you doing today? Hopefully not beating a dead bush, but uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do another dartling gun strategy. I was having an absolute blast. Literally. With a cannon dartling gun combo. But I feel like it's not the only thing that you can do. Um, I feel like I like the dartling guns, and obviously I, I, I want to build banana phones with them if I can, but I feel like I can do them with other combos as well. I just need some sort of grouped popping power tower. And I always go for boomerangs as a 2-3 or a 2-4 boomerang, but I don't necessarily need that. Maybe just a 3-0 boomerang is going to be good enough. So we're going to do a boomerang. Surprise, surprise, boomerang. A dartling gun farm combo over here. And, uh, you know, when you get the monkey village, usually I like to skip it. If I get stuck with it, like, okay, that's fine, I guess. But uh, uh, I'm not a huge fan of having the monkey village because I don't like going late game. You know, I don't like round 25, round 30, round 40, or anything like that. I like killing people with really cool round 18, round 19, round 20 type rushes over here. So, um, with this strategy, guys, of course, we're going to do a banana farm start into a dartling gun. Um, we play it by ear if we need to get, end up getting the dartling gun upgraded at all. Um, sometimes you can just chill with a zero zero dartling gun. Sometimes just getting a zero one is, uh, uh, it's like, it, it's not necessary, but it's just worth it to have because then you're going to be good for a really freaking long time. So what I like to do is I like to do two sets of reds, very similar to my healthy pellet strategy. You guys know that if you play enough, you can get very, very used to a single, single strategy being awesome. Um, and you can do it like literally perfect every single time. If you get used to a single strategy, it makes you better. And then you can sort of adapt the strategy, change it around a little bit, just make it a little bit better, and, um, you know, slowly evolve through natural selection that strategy to being the best strategy in the entire world. Uh, that's usually the way I recommend for people to uh, play this game. If you haven't, if you have no strategies, play with one until you find something that you like. Even if you have to copy a strategy from a YouTuber or from me, that's fine. I don't hate you. I'm not gonna be like, oh, don't copy my strategy. That's what these videos are for. They're they're all for entertainment, but they're also educational, guys. I like to educate my peeps over here. So we're gonna go for our zero one. Finally, he does start rushing with some balloons, but we're not gonna let him just farm over there crazy style. We're gonna rush him right on back. There's a big chunk of blues. He's actually going to go for some pink balloons as well. But, uh... I don't feel like it's worth it to stop my blue balloon rush. He does in a battle energy over there, though. Wonderful! So we stop most of the balloons. And he's doing a good pink bl uh, blue combo right now. But, uh, finally has to wean off that thing. Has to get that big bad wiener weaning off of this uh, rush right here. And there we go. That's what we call the wiener schnitzel and a half. So... Now, you might be thinking, oh crap, he's got like a really good defense. Wrong! We're gonna go for a green rush, baby! Greens and maybe a couple blacks to finish this thing off, so we don't have that much money um, saved up right now. Blue energy hit, naval force, another battle energy. That'd be wonderful. He's gonna counter rush me with some greens, though. I'm actually just gonna pop my boomerang up already. I'm gonna, oh, whoa, whoa! Where he's down to 40 lives! What is he doing over there? Obviously, something is going wrong over there. He's down to 30 lives already. He used two battle energies just to get to where he's at right now, so obviously, um, he's, having, he's, he's having a struggle fest. For sure. So I'm gonna get a little greedy. I'm gonna go for my, um, my, uh, Second tier banana farm over here. Um, we're pretty even on banana farms, but he's been having a lot of blue income as well. But I think the life difference definitely doesn't make up for the fact that his income is, like, maybe a little bit better than mine. So he's going to go for a pretty big view rush against me. I'm going to get my 3-0 boomerang over here, and we'll see how well this works, guys. You know? I mean, uh, I was telling you guys that I think it's basically like a third tier cannon, and it's working out pretty well. It's not quite as perfect as a third tier cannon, but... I still really like him. Obviously, defended that without any issues whatsoever. And uh, what I can do is I can do a quick counter yellow rush and see what he does against this thing. And I can spend a lot of money on these yellows, by the way, guys. A lot of freaking money. Look at that. Oh, we might kill him right here. Player, no, no, you can't defend with just a wizard. Use the battle energy. 765. Use the battle energy. And he ends up dying to a yellow rush. And on round 10 as well. Oh, my goodness gracious. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop back in here and do another random boomer dartling gun strategy. When you knock people's lives down to 40 or something like that, they, they freak out. They don't know what to do. You know? They're like, oh, what am I supposed to do, man? I'm going to do I rush. Do I defend? Personally, I like to do a bit more of a defensive type of action over here. And um, so, ooh, ooh, ooh. This guy is about to do get his 75 millionth medallion. We're going to knock him down a notch, though. 
we're gonna try and knock him down a notch. We're just trying to play with this strategy and see if it works well. Ooh, I don't really like this map for this though. That's okay. We'll do it anyways, man. Um, but any farms and everything. Um, the ice towers are. Oh, he doesn't like this map either. And we end up on. Ooh, the best Starlight gun map in the game. Boomerangs are not quite as good as a 3-0, but they're still pretty solid overall. So we're gonna do that, that, and that. Let's see what we get as a random. I'm hoping for like a ninja. Maybe a wizard would be okay. Mortar. Sniper's really not something I'm looking for. But, uh, we'll keep him anyways. I feel like he's better than, than any other random that I'm gonna get, you know? I'm probably gonna get something crappy. That's for sure. So, uh, let's see what this guy's gonna do, man. I'm not promising a win. You know, obviously he's a very experienced, a very skilled player over there. I'm not promising a win, especially with a, a sort of newer strategy that we're inventing, sort of coming up with right now. But I do feel like it's so gosh darn solid that I just have to go for it. Now, especially if this guy's gonna be one of those dart monkey players, this is gonna be fun. Oh, crap, I already screwed up. I got the right-sided farm! My finger literally slipped to the other side right there. So that's gonna hurt us quite a bit. I don't think I can get my darling up right uh, as fast as I want him to. Gosh darn it. This sucks. I gotta wait till around f till 42. 41. 42. We get our dartling gun over here. Obviously, we're struggle lugging right now. He does, he's just, no, he's gonna do helipod strat. Okay. That's cool. That's cool, man. It's fine by me. So let's see. He's probably not gonna rush us with any more balloons than that. Was that really only two sets of reds right there? That felt like way more, for some reason that I don't fully understand. Don't know how he did it, but uh, he did it, man. He caused some issues for us. So Amanda's texting me right now. She's like, Chris, I hate you with every ounce of my heart. No, I'm just joking. She said that she's going to be home in just a little while, but she's running a little bit late because there's a light out on uh, the street that she drives. The, the really busy street. There's a light out um, that she drives on on the way home. So... Uh, with this helipod, of course, you know their weakness is the group balloons, right? So you gotta decide how do you do the group balloon rushes to cause the most issues while still trying to get as many banana farms as you possibly can. Well, I think the best way for us to do is to get a slight banana farm advantage and then start going for a crap ton of crazy rushes up in here. Of course, he can rush us just as easily, if not even easier, because we've only got a 0, zero dartling gun where he's got a freaking zero one. Uh, or, well, we got a zero zero dartling gun, which is not as strong as his um, helipod over there. So we, go. we finally get an upgraded heli pallet over here. We've got the group, blue, group blues coming out. He's going to end up popping out a quick cannon over here, which is actually a bit of a surprise. Um, heli pallet cannon is not something that I see all that often. It's not bad, but uh, it's not something I see all that often. Cannons have been being used a lot more lately, though. Once that weird third tier um, uh, 3 0 cannon buff came out. The cannon just seems so much more, more pow uh, powerful, you know? It's only $100. It's weird how $100 can change the game so gosh darn drastically. But it's making the cannons come back. Everybody's um, ready to go with these guys. So, let's see. How do we want to do this, man? Of course, round 8 is going to be dangerous for both of us, but even more dangerous for me. Um, if you guys do, like, a full-out yellow rush... It, I also don't know. Do I want to go for a third-tier left-sided boomerang, or do I want to go for a third-tier right-sided? So I'm going to get this guy up to 2-0 just to start. He's going to stop with his yellows, just rushing it just enough to not cause any issues. <laughs> oh, he's going to go for another yellow rush over here, though. I'm going to get my third tier up, hopefully. Come on, get that monies up. Get that monies up. There we go. We got the third tier. Pop a couple quick road spikes down here. We're going to lose a couple lives on that, but we do end up defending. Um, well played. You know, I mean, well done. It's, uh, it's a fair rush. Fair amount of lives lost. Just fair all around. So he's going to go for a lead rush against me as well, which is actually a little bit surprising. I wasn't actually expecting that. And we're going to lose a lot of lives right here. Forces me to get a higher level dartling gun already. Um, more You can tell, definitely a more aggressive player than usual. We've been playing people who are not all that aggressive. I think he's taking advantage of the fact that I do have my 3-0 boomerang up. So we're going to get a full metal jacket sniper just to get rid of some of the higher um, tier balloons that he might want to send out against us. And, of course, we know that the weakness of the uh, heli pallet is, well, camo balloons as well as regular balloons. We're going to do a weird rush right here, guys. We're going to go zebra, 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 regen, zebra, camo, zebra, and then a bunch of random balloons kind of in the middle of all this. And those camo balloons are what's going to be some of the most problematic balloons for him, all in the middle right there. And he's going to end up losing to the weird rush right there. He couldn't micro in time. And we take him down with the crazy zebra combo ridiculous rush right there. You can't stop the zebra.
Rush. <laughs> I love it, man. I've been taking everybody down with my Zebra Rush lately. Seriously, I think I probably win about 60-75% of my games with my Zebra Rush. And this is actually something that I only learned probably about six months ago or something like that. It's not like a... It's not like I've known this rush since the game came out. I used to do a lot of full-out regen zebras. I used to go, um, only regen zebra, 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 And then just be like, done. Okay, that's it. And then only regen rainbow, 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 But, uh, lately, um, I've been learning that you don't need all that many regens. It's just, ba it's more efficient to go with a bunch of lower tier balloons, regular zebras, mix in just a couple regen balloons in the middle there, and those randoms in the middle there are what's going to regen and kill the people in the end. So Battle River, a really, really long map. Let's switch to a non-farm strategy. We're going to go Buccaneer this time, uh, Dartling Gun, and then uh, I still got to go with that Boomer, guys. That's what we've been using. It's been working rock solid. We get the Monkey Village, so if we go late game, this is going to be what working out wonderful for us. This is going to be like some amazing dancers dancing right in front of us, looking absolutely beautiful, and then, you know, all of a sudden they're like, oh man, what the, what the heck are they going to do? Are they going to take off their speedo, or what? Oh crap, I mean, are they going to take, oh, oh, well, let, uh, wasn't supposed to say that. Oh, we're getting demonetized, guys. It's, it's going to happen. We just got demonetized. It's over. Well, on that note, let's, uh, Let's just pretend that never happened. Let's just delete it. All right, let's just delete this video. Right off the face of the internet. It's gone. It's absolutely gone. Now I'm just messing with you guys. Um, it probably will get demonetized, though. It's, 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 it's actually gotten a little bit... I gotta be honest with you guys. It's gotten... I don't know if it was my complaints, or if YouTube's just being better, or what the deal is, but over the past, like, week or so, it has gotten better. Still not good. But it has gotten better, and I really appreciate that. I don't know if they just find certain channels and they're like, it's pretty obvious that this channel is not doing anything too ridiculously unsafe consistently. We're going to like just say that they're safe or something like that, especially for like medium-sized channels like myself. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that I, I don't do anything too ridiculously unsafe except talking about uh, male strippers and things like that. So... Yeah, or making weird noises like my turkey noises. Obviously those are pretty not safe for work as well, you know? I was actually reading something about so I, I I do Reddit every once in a while. I'm a I'm a I'm a, Re, I'm a redditor I suppose. Um, I've I, it's kind of become my new Facebook I suppose. I used to go on Facebook quite a bit. I got really bored with Facebook. Nobody made now all the posts are not people anymore. They're all random groups that I don't care about. Like I wish that my friends posted more, but uh, nobody does. And so we do have our own little groups. Like I have a League of Legends group that we talk to on Facebook. We want to play games with each other or whatnot. We do it through Facebook. So don't have to text people or whatnot. Um. And then we've also got, like, our, uh, we call it our Men vs. Wild page. It's basically, like, our, our camping page. Whenever we're doing anything relating to camping, or just, like, if we have pictures from our camping trips or whatnot, we post them on there. Or if we just have, like, a big announcement, we're like, hey, guys, I'm having, like, a big party or something like that. Come on over. Men vs. Wild page. Bam. So, like, that's how I communicate with my friends. But that's kind of, like, the majority of what I do on Facebook these days. I even deleted my Facebook app off of my phone. I don't use it. I, ne I almost never used it in the first place, but I don't use it at all, and I felt like it was slurping up my battery, slurping up my data, even when it wasn't on, and I was getting kind of upset by that, so I was like, delete, you out of here, see you later. And uh, I've actually switched more to Reddit, and I've actually really been enjoying my time there. Um, so... What I found out, though, was that the very beginning of Reddit, I found this was kind of funny, actually, that there was only... There used to not be subreddits, it was just like the homepage or something like that. And then what they did was they are like, okay, okay, we can't just have the homepage here because there's only two things on the homepage right now. It's programming and random porn stuff. That's the only thing that they had on the homepage. And so they made it a not safe for work section and then a regular section, which was all the programming stuff. And that's how Reddit basically started. And uh, I, found that, I found that kind of funny actually, just sort of interesting as well. So, what's happening right now is this guy's letting us get a ridiculous amount of income. I'm going to take advantage of it. We're going up to 800 here, guys. Uh, probably a little bit too greedy for our own good, but I'm going to do it anyways, man. 8 frickin' 100 already! Don't have any lead popping power. He's just not doing anything to cause me to be worried. Zero balloons have come out of my side so far, I think. He's just playing his own side over there. And you know what? That's fine. Some players are allowed to do that. But it's usually not the better way to play the game. So... 
Uh, let's get our third tier boomerang over here. We got the ricochet. We're just gonna get the lead pop power as well. I'm gonna upgrade this guy to focus firing, and I'm almost all, already gonna get him up to two one. Sometimes I like to play it as greedy as I possibly can, but I feel like I've already done the necessary greed, guys. Eight hundred. Don't need to be even greedier than that, do I? Let's get at least a reasonable defense on my side of the screen. Uh, we definitely are outdoing his ridiculously low four banana farms. So let's go for a big bad black rush, get our income up to hopefully a thousand pretty soon. We're already uh, topping 900 over here, guys. But uh, definitely not going to do any damage with this thing. He's got the uh, wizard up to lightning wizard and a destroyer. That's just a solid combo. There's really not much I can do against this combo. So the thing is, is this game is definitely going late game. So we got to think about how we can do a better late game than him. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say definitely. That's not a, that's not a, a good way to think about it. There are ways to do damage to both of us, and uh, one of the main ways, of course, when you hit round 15, guys, regen freaking leads, baby. Especially when he gets a little greedy with that third tier banana farm. So we're going to go for some regen leads, I'm going to go for some regular leads, then a couple regen leads, then a couple regular leads. And we're going to see if this ends up causing any issues for this guy. Um, it looks like it is. His lightning wizard can't handle the truth right here. Can't handle the truth. So many balloons overwhelming. No battle energy popping out. And come on, no, 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 is going to get maybe killed right here. He gets the tornado wizard up and does. End up kamehameha-ing the balloons over there and ends up surviving. Well played, my friend. Well played indeed. So we're going to continue with our Big Bad Black Rush. Getting up to uh, hopefully 1,250 or so income. It is officially round 18, by the way, which is the danger zone. we got mobs that can come out against us. At this point, at 1,200 income, you're already getting towards the point where you can already send out almost continuous constant blacks, which is straight up ridiculous if you ask me. Um, once I get my 1,500 income up in here, I'm going to start getting a little bit more defense up. But believe it or not, I think if I need to, I can pop the Moab with my um, Dartling gun and then use a 2-4 boomerang to clean up all the balloons. I know that sounds like, oh man, where the heck are you going to get that money from? 1,500 income per 6 seconds, man. It, doesn't take, it takes like, what, 18 seconds for the Moab to sneak all the way through the entire map? So obviously I feel like I can defend that. So, um, the thing about boats on this map is obviously... Destroyers are good against the regular Moabs. BFBs are destroyed by the 2-4 uh, uh, boats. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop I'm going to pop a monkey village over here. We get him up to third tier left side over here. And then every single dollar that I spend is going to be um, increased drastically. Uh, actually, not as drastically as I thought, though. It goes only up to 4.3 from 3.6. It should be higher than that, but it's good enough for me. So around 21 is already going to be having some ceramic balloons pop out, so we need to get a couple dartling guns up here, or some destroyers or something like that. I've been so gosh darn greedy, I need to end the greed at some point. Don't forget, though, if I really need to, I can sell this guy for emergency situations. So let's get our dartling guns. We're going to go bam, bam. Spending our money over here. Powerful darts on these guys. And uh, we'll get a monkey fort over here as well. That's going to increase the pop power of every single one of my dartling guns. Nice. Is he going to fit anymore? I think I did a little bit of a bad job placing these guys. There we go. That's as many dartling guns as I think I need right now. Again, 1,600 income at this point. And uh, I'm just not feeling uh, not feeling scared. I got boats as well. Don't forget, I can insta-kill BFBs if I want to. So, I think, believe it or not, if I do a quick zone my god against this guy... I don't think he's going to be able to defend. He doesn't have his 4th tier banana farm yet. By this point, on this on this map, guys, you should have your 4th tier banana farm for sure by round 18. If you don't, you're doing something wrong. And this guy is doing something wrong. I think the main thing, though, is that we were doing a lot of weird rushes, making him sell banana farms and stuff like that to defend. So we've been causing this guy to not get his 4th tier banana farm over here. It's the Super John Bombo effect. Um, you make everybody else play worse. Even if it makes your income play worse, you make everybody else play worse by doing weird rushes all the time. So he ends up getting a bank over there, which is fine and everything, but uh, obviously not going to help him out very much for round 25 when we decide to do where's oh my god, and that's when we're going to do it, guys. Um, you know, not, not waiting into the, the deep future out there. We're doing it real soon. Keep in mind, though, that our defense is still pretty gosh darn awful. Um, I, I need to be able to not only just pop some balloons, but I need to pop if he does Moabs or BFBs, or if he counter rushes with a freaking zone, my god. Um, I have to do something about that. I gotta, I gotta make my uh, defense worth it. So let's see. Let's do a... Um, I also didn't have camel lead pop power, which is pretty ridiculous. Let's do at least a laser cannon on my side, then we're gonna start saving up for a, uh, a zone, my god. Like I said, I want to do right around run 25 when I feel like I have a solid income already. 
and I can just continue rushing with pinks underneath this thing so I can increase my uh, income even higher. Um, he does have the submarines, though, which is obviously really, really good for late game, but he's going to have to get that $20,000 or somewhere. He might have to sell all of his banana farms to make this happen. To me, that's worth it, so let's, uh, let's do it. $9,000 gone from us, but uh, also maybe making him sell a bunch of banana farms as well. So here we go. We're getting to the point where these balloons are starting to get a little bit overwhelming over here. Come on, little boomerang. Do it, man. Get the laser cannon up in here. Now we're defending. Now don't forget, I do want to get more balloons. I, I do want to get more income. I don't think 3,500 is going to be enough for the rest of the game. So let's increase this crap all the way up. Still no submarine action going on. It looks like he's trying to defend this thing without using the first strike ability, and that could be his biggest mistake of his life right there. Oh, baby. Come on, Mama Mama Ron. Let's see what you can do. All right, so if he does the right thing here, he gets a couple two for a boat, so he might be able to handle this, uh, these BFBs inside. Uh, we made him sell his his bank, though, and he probably doesn't have that much money in there. Regen Rainbows are causing some problems, and come on, Mama Mama Doop is going to get destroyed by the Regen Rainbows. Not even the Zoe, oh my God. Talk about terrible plays from Kamamanamanam over there. So uh, we end up being the champs over here. Dartling Gun again for the freaking win, guys. I'm on um, an absolute uh, tear right now, destroying every single opponent that comes up against me. Um, I think I've won probably six or seven games in a row with this Dartling Gun uh, uh, strategy. And uh, I've been switching up with, between different strategies, banana farms, no banana farms, etc., etc., and, it's still, and I still end up on top. So... Highly recommend, highly recommend you guys check out this Dartling Gun Trat and see if it's for you. It might not be for you, and that's fine. If you're bad at it, don't don't keep continuing. But at least practice a couple games, see if you can handle it, and see if you can do a good job on it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you press the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.